Salo nataka kuongea na Aoko. Aoko Maveri, I have a message for you so a few weeks ago. And me kitu, kitu nataka tu ku confess. God tells me a lot of things I should share with people but me ukanyagia. Kuna kitu tutakuja kusema hivi karibuni itafanya mkubwa kasirike na atasema get rid of her. Na wenye karibu na yeye wakisikizo instructions watachukulia serious get rid of her. Uzuri what I'm getting in the spirit is um itakuwa asira short term. Na maana nasema the people around him ndio watadandia hiyo opportunity kukumaliza. But hiyo ni kitu mtu anafaa kumwambia atulie wachana na udim. Watu nyota po hiyo instruction mtakuwa like hey tumeambiwa tufanye tufanye basi but it's going to be short term anger na yeye ni a few weeks ago na Mungu aliniambia kitu tafanyika within a 30 day period so sijika 30 day period ni hiyo 3 weeks ago isha esabike mabaki wiki moja ama ni 30 days from today i don't understand hapo naye sijauliza but you need to exit the country briefly you need to exit the country briefly um TZ TZ is a good place for you cause what i'm getting is ata shule hujakuwa ukienda vizuri so with you go to TZ don't know yet it will affect sana but you need to lay low for a while outside the country outside the country je kuna kitu unaenda kusema hujasema bado kuna kitu unaenda kusema yenye itafanya mkubwa aseme tu get rid of her ongoja kidogo ongoja kidogo ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jackson254 tv karibuni all right ladies and gentlemen hizi ni breaking news za maverick aoko maverick aoko ladies and gentlemen inasemekana amepatikana akiwa amekufa amepatikana huko naro kwa mtaro akiwa amekatwa mudomo akiwa pia vile vile amekatwa simu zake za siri na inasemekana my friend ladies and gentlemen mwili yake my friend sasa hivi kwa wale watu ambao walikuwa namjua hawawezi wakamtambua unajua my friend ladies and gentlemen sasa hivi as we speak kwa mtandao kumewaka moto kwa mtandao kumewaka moto ladies and gentlemen kumbuka Maverick Aoko ladies and gentlemen alionekana kwa video fulani akiwa anakidnapiwa my friend watu wakiwa wanamwangalia badala wamsaidie my friend Maverick alionekana akiwa anapiga nduru hata ingawaje hiyo video ilikuwa ina record ladies and gentlemen haikuwa clear oh my god Maverick Aoko my friend alipiga nduru lakini wenye walikuwa wanamkidnap my friend walimkidnap bila ya kujali Unaona kwa sababu wale watu my friend inasemekana ni watu ambao si wa Kenya ni watu wanatoka mbali kwa hivyo hata wakikidnap mtu mchana hakuna mtu atawajua kwa sababu sio wa Kenya kitu ambacho eh, kiliweza kuzungumzwa na Martha Karua akiexplain vizuri sana ya kwamba wale watu wenye wanakidnap watu ni wanyama sasa hivi Maverick Aoko hatujui kama hizi news ni za ukweli ama ni za uongo lakini my friend tunasema ya kwamba kama Maverick Aoko amefariki sijui tutafanya namna gani kwa sababu huyu madamu ndio amekuwa akiongea ukweli Kenya yeye ndio mtu ambaye amekuwa akiattack au wa politician na hawa waheshimiwa eh left right and center kwa sababu yeye tu peke yake ndio mtu mwenye ako na bold ama mwenye ako na kipawa ya kuattack na yanawaata kingi akisema ya kwamba hakuna mtu mwenye anaweza come up akuje kusema ya kwamba anadanganya kwa sababu ako na evidence na yeye ni mtu ambaye amekuwa akideta hao mapolitician amekuwa akilala na wao na hakuna kitu ako mpaka na evidence yani huyu mwanamke ladies and gentlemen amekuwa untouchable for a very long time lakini guys kuna kitu moja nataka niwaambie Despite Maverick Aoko kuongelelea hawa watu, kumbuka maisha yake imekuwa hatarini sana. Kuna uh, prophet ambaye ni TikToker, huyu madam my friend aliweza kutabiri eh, akasema ya kwamba Maverick Aoko hizi story zenye amekuwa kifanya, awachane nazo na ahame Kenya, aende nchi ya mbali. Kwa sababu yeye ni 
mtu ama yeye ni prophet ambaye anatumiwa na Mwenyezi Mungu na zile vitu zote uanga anaonyeshwa uanga zinafanyika so alionyeshwa kifo cha Maverick Aoko lakini akawon Maverick Aoko awache kuwataka hao mapolitician kwa sababu anapo wa attack wanasikia uchungu sana kwa sababu hata yeye pia awezi akataka mtu yoyote am troll ama mbuli kwa mtandao kwa sababu wakati unakuwa bullied my friend ni uchungu kwa hivyo aliambia Maverick Aoko ya kwamba eh, kuna, po, kuna kuna mtu anapanga kuongelelea ajamuongelelea lakini anapanga kumuongelelea na huyo mtu wakati atamuongelelea my friend huyo mtu hata muacha juu ile kitu yenye atamuongelelea juu yake ni ya uchungu na huyo kiongozi ataiona hiyo post ba, baada ya kuipost na atasema sasa enough is enough atatuma watu wake wa kuadapt watu waende wamchukue na waende wamuue kwa sababu enough is enough unaona aliweza kuongea na sijui kama hiyo post iliweza kufikia Maverick Aoko na nataka ni wachezee hiyo post mweze kuisikia mweze kujionea vile huyo madamu aliweza kusema huyo madamu anaitwa the the watcher anajiita the watcher pale kwa TikTok huyu madam my friend ladies and gentlemen yale maneno aliongea ni maneno mazito sana na amekuwa akiongea haya maneno lakini watu wanapozilia huanga anaingia mara moja moja anakuja anasema kitu alafu anadisapia na hii post yenye ambao mnaona tukiongelelea ni post yenye alipost tarehe kumi hii mwezi oh my god na sasa hivi anasema ya kwamba ama watu wamekuwa kisema ya kwamba chenye amesema kimefanyika na unajua mtu mwenye aliongelelewa wa mwisho mwenye alifanya sasa ndio aweze kukidnapiwa alikuwa Faruk Kibet Faruk Kibet ladies and gentlemen aliweza kumchamba alimchamba tu proper akisemanga vile ambavyo yeye kazi yake ni kulala na wanawake alafu au wanawake kishala na wao anapiga ana pass kwa president unaona kitu ambacho huenda ikawa labda hakiku uh, sink vizuri kwa uh, Faruk unaona na kama sio Faruk amemfanyia hii kitendo huenda ikawa pia wafanyakazi wa president huenda ikawa waliamua kumuua tu yani wakijaribu kuonyeshana solidarity kwa president wao kwa sababu wacha nikwambie hata wakati Musando aliuliwa my friend aliuliwa na watu kwa sababu eh, wale watu wenye walimuua walikuwa nataka kuiba kura unaona na kwa sababu hawakuwa nataka president atoke kwa kiti ama walikuwa nataka huyo mtu wao ashinde ndio kwa maana wakaamua kumuua kwa sababu alikuwa ameweka eh, hizo machine eh, in a way that kura haziezi ibiwa na alikuwa anaenda kwa media akisema kura mambo ya kuibiwa imefika mwisho this time round hakuna kuiba kura hiyo kitu ilishangaza watu sana na baadaye wakati walimu walimuua alipatikana kama amengolewa kidole kwa sababu hiyo kidole yake ndio ilikuwa ndio kifunguo ya kuiba kura. Kwa hivyo walimuua na wakachukua hiyo kifunguo. So hadi wa leo Musando alikufa na sasa hivi pia vile vile umekuwa mkisikia pia huyu Maverick akisema ya kwamba eh, Raila Odinga ni mubaya, uh, President Ruto ni mubaya na sasa hivi my friend alienda kaguza a total man wa President Ruto ambaye ni Faruku Kibet alienda kamuguza akamuchamba na Faruku Kibet kama amekasirika na ameamua kuchukua maisha yake sijui tutafanya namna gani unaona kwa sababu my friend huyo ndio alikuwa ni biwot huyo ndio alikuwa ni biwot wa nani wa president Ruto kama vile biwot alikuanga wa president Moi watu wanasema biwot my friend alikuwa yeye anafinya watu my friend alikuwa mpaka na chemba yake ya kufinyanga watu unaona na sasa hivi inasemekana kuna biwot mwingine ambaye ni Faruku anaogopwa sana na wacha niwaambie ladies and gentlemen wa nini wengi sana wa viongozi wengi sana wanalianga wanasema Faruku ni hatari yeye ndio huanga na wapanga hata si president na wapanga huyo mtu ni hatari Unaona? Kwa hivyo kama ameamua kuondoa huyu mwanamke ndio yule iwe funzo kwa watu wengine wenye ambao wako na tabia za kuchamba waheshimiwa, my friend ni lazima eh, wawache kuchamba waheshimiwa kwa sababu wacha nikwambie. Hii gari ya moshi ya ufisadi my friend imengoa nanga na hakuna mtu yote mwenye atajaribu kuzuia. Eh hii hi, hi gari ya moshi kusimame. Hakuna atapitwa na yeye. Ata Atapitwa na yeye mtu yote mwenye anajaribu kuzuia viongozi kuiba atapitwa na yeye kama gari ya moshi maana hii gari ya moshi haisimami na haina mpango wa kusimama 
very soon haina uh, uh, mpango wa kusimama very soon so kwa hivyo uh, kama Mabarak Aoko ni kweli ameweza kufariki ni uzuni sana kwa familia yake ni uzuni sana kwa followers wake kwa mtandao wale watu wote wenye wanapenda huu madamu kwa sababu anaongeanga ukweli watakuwa disappointed sasa hivi najua wanaomboleza kwa hivyo uh, wana, 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 wa, watu wote wa media my friend content creator wote tunawatakia wakati mgumu wakati ambao mnaomboleza kifo cha Mabarak Aoko Mabarak Aoko alikuwa napendwa sana na wa Kenya wengi wameweza kuonyeshana upendo yake pale kwa, t- kwa Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, kila mahali eh, mpaka kwa Instagram wakisema ya kwamba kama mumechukua huyo msichana, huyo msichana hakukua na atia huyo msichana alikuwa anafanya kazi yake na alikuanga na stress. Huyo msichana alikuwa na ongea venye alikuwa anaongea out of stress. Hata kama angeitiwa wangu kazi ama aitiwe tu pesa, huyo msichana angewacha kuongea. Hii inatuonyesha vile ambavyo amekuwa akiongelelea vizuri babu Owino kwa sababu babu Owino anamtekianga kea anamtekianga kea lakini watu kama wakina president Ruto wakina Raila Odinga hawatakangi kumuona na pia wale viongozi wenye wamechaguliwa na hii serikali yake pia vile vile hawatakangi kumpea ka kitu hata tipu watakangi kumpea unaona saa zingine mtu mwenye na ambaye hana kazi na akona mtoto na akona bills anaweza fanya chochote ndio ili aweze kulea familia yake unaona lakini wale watu wabaya my friend hawatakangi kuongelelewa kwa sababu ya nini wakati mtu mbaya anakosa usingizi kwa sababu yako na najua kabisa kabisa wewe hakikuondoa atalala usingizi mbona asikuondoe so guys ladies and gentlemen mimi sina mengi nataka tu tuende moja kwa moja kwa hiyo video ya huyo prophet mwenye ambaye aliweza kutabiri kifo cha Mavarek Aoko Tuwe Tuweze tumsikilize mpaka mwisho na tuweze kuacha hapa hivi maoni. Muone mtu muniambie kama huyo mwanamke anajua ni nini anasema ama ni mdomo tu ya TikTok. So, bila kupoteza wakati guys, let's go guys, let's go. Let's go. Salo nataka kuongea na Aoko. Aoko Maveri, I have a message for you so a few weeks ago. And me kitu, kitu nataka tu who confess. God tells me a lot of things I should share with people but me ukanyagia. Cause first of stakangi kwa bullied online. Being bullied online is painful. You know I may sit here and pretend like I'm the strongest soldier but I'm not. Ni kitu kana nitasikia uchungu. Watu wakinibeba ufala if people start calling me a weirdo, you know so na kuanga na information mingi naweza kuja niambia watu hapa but 90% of the time ziko kwa drafts but here aoko nimesema ah, let me just say it um again similar to what i said about morara mnafaa mchunge vitu mnasema online it's fine you have freedom of speech but kuna kitu tutakuja kusema hivi karibuni itafanya mkubwa kasirike na atasema get rid of her na wenye karibu na yeye wakisikizo instructions watachukulia serious get rid of her uzuri what i'm getting in the spirit is um itakuwa asira short term na maana nasema the people around him ndio watadandia hiyo opportunity kukumaliza but hiyo ni kitu mtu anafaa kumwambia atulie wachana na udim but wenye watapoa hiyo instruction watakuwa like hey tumeambiwa tufanye tufanye basi but it's going to be short term anger. Na like a few weeks ago. Na Mungu aliniambia kitu tafanyika within a 30 day period. So sijika 30 day period ni hiyo 3 weeks ago isha esabike mabaki wiki moja ama ni 30 days from today I don't understand. Hapo naye sijauliza but you need to exit the country briefly. You need to exit the country briefly. Um TZ TZ is a good place for you cause what i'm getting is hata shule hujakuwa ukienda vizuri so with you go to TZ or not yet it will affect sana but you need to lay low for a while outside the country outside the country jukuna kitu naenda kusema hujasema bado kuna kitu naenda kusema yenye itafanya mkubwa aseme tu get rid of her